Hello, and welcome to a very special episode. Uh, I was going to show you how to make terrain, mountains and rivers, but first I have to show you how to make your uh, your your uh, uh, chunks. I have to make, how to make your chunks large, because uh, this is an easy thing to screw up, and if you screw it up, then uh, you won't understand what the heck's gone on. There's a lot of places we've made the assumption about chunk size, so I'm going to take you back through. And I'm going to also polish up some of the rendering stuff just because we'll need it later when we start to push Unity 65,000 uh, ve vertex limit. Uh, we'll want to be able to swap in cool stuff later, but we're going to uh, ignore that for now. So one of the things I did, you may have noticed, is I just fell through. That's because I temporarily disabled... Uh, um, burp, 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 there it is. Uh, I temporarily disabled the collider calculation. Collider calculation is the one thing that takes the longest amount of time. And in uh, uh, in the long run, we may have to come up with a special way of doing that uh, when we get to more than 65,000 vertexes. But for now, they still works fine. Um, so you have to realize that there is a pause when we're, when we're generating, and that's because we're generating huge... Uh, uh, mountains. Each of these is tremendous. Uh, so, you know, if we go in here and, and zoom in, you'll see that we've got these massive internal spaces. So, uh, these are not, uh, these, these are all as as complicated as I could make them, specifically for this purpose. So how do we do this? Alright, so the whole thing we're going to do here is we're going to go through and make it so that all of these chunks are always the size you tell them to be. Believe it or not, that's a lot more finicky than you might think, but it hopefully won't take too long. First things first, define a public int height right there. We don't need this. This is for this episode. Rather, next episode. <laughs> so you need a height. The height we define here is the maximum height of the world. And it is the gotcha. It is the thing that will screw you up. Because uh, there are so many places where height pops in that you will need to fix. So, let's go through them. First, you'll need to put it in map. Map equals new byte width height width. You also need to put it into is transparent. Otherwise, everything above a certain place will be equal to transparent, which will actually make you hit that 65,000 vertex limit in about two seconds. Um, because uh, every single thing, even if it's air above the width level, so if you have a 20 by 50 by 20, then the top 20 by 30 by 20 bricks will count as uh, something you have to draw. Yeah, and that'll really, really make you hit that, that vertex limit instantly. Uh, and that is, in fact, what got me confused. I missed that one, so don't miss that one. Uh, you also need, down here in Regenerate, you need to make Y is less than height rather than Y is less than width. Now, uh, I did move this so that Regenerate is a little bit different than it was before. First off, I do Y first, and then X, and then Z. And that's in preparation for what we're going to be doing a little bit later, uh, which will be uh, mesh, multi-mesh stuff. And I want the meshes to work from top to bottom rather than in, vertical, rather than in slices. I also uh, gutted some of the logic here and put it in other functions. Uh, all of the logic that used to be in Regenerate to set up our meshes and to close our meshes afterwards, uh, I have put in its own function, which we'll get to later. Also, if initialized, if you're not initialized, don't regenerate. And that's so that when you're drawing a brush, you don't regenerate after every single pixel that you draw. Um, previously, we had relied on a pretty shaky way of doing that, so I replaced it with an explicit Here's another place where height is, in set brick. Otherwise, you won't be able to change any bricks that are above the height. Um, I also made it so that if y is equal to 0, you can't modify the brick, because I was getting sick of falling through. Uh, however, this is not all of the places that you need to set height. There's one more. Over here, in land brush. Where is it? Was there one? I think there was. Nope, I guess not. Sorry, I lied. Nope. Alright, so that's, I guess, all of them. Uh, so just to go through that again, one in map, when, one in the initial map definition, 
one in is transparent, one in regenerate, and one in set brick. Uh, if you don't if you don't fix those, then you're going to have issues. Here are the other modifications I made. I put in an initialized variable which starts at false, and then I don't set it to true until just before I regenerate. So as you can see, after I have done all of the brush work, after I've got everything figured out, I then regenerate, not before. So initialize equals true, only then. All of these brushes don't hit. The, these brushes all call regenerate, and regenerate goes. I'm not. I'm not going to regenerate because I haven't been initialized. Uh, I also made it so that I generate a ground height uh, rather than just an arbitrary value, and I made that ground height a uh, uh, an integer here. Sixty is obviously just so that I could make sure that I had a massive, massive um, chunks. Uh, that would be like mountain height. Oh, I deleted the terrain type just now. Oh, we don't need that. That's for next episode. Huh. The brushes, are, I, I made them go crazy. That's not something you'll have to do. Whoa, but it looks cool, doesn't it? Floating islands. You could probably make a game out of terrain like that. It might be worth trying. All right, anyhow, um, so what other changes did I make that I need you to make so that our projects are back in alignment? Um, let me take a look. Oh, oh yeah, this one. Uh, previously, our width had been defined right here. Now, our width is still here, um, but we don't want to actually use it. So let's go ahead and change it to a protected int. There we are, so that it can't be set. We don't want our chunk width to be defined at the chunk level. We want our chunk width to be defined by the terrain. So what we do is when we start up, we actually assign our width based on the terrain's chunk size. That way, if we go out here and we say, well, our terrain actually, uh, our chunk size of 20, let's go ahead and make that a chunk size of 5. And we hit play. This is going to take a while because there's now like a billion chunks. Oh, I should have thought that through and gone up instead of down. There we are. So you can see that now our chunks are very, very tiny. And that will allow us to do a whole bunch of cool stuff later on when we need to start polishing how large our chunks are. It'll also let us do some cool stuff much later. Uh, so now you can see that we've got some silliness going on with the, these chunks not looking even vaguely random. So let's go ahead and fix that while you're paying attention. Let me sneeze a little bit here. Here is the problem. Uh, so previously it had been x plus z. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Uh, yeah. So I actually I'm going to press pause here and go back. Sure, sure. We don't need it to be five. Let's make it ten. Now the problem with that is that it means every single time a brick has the same x plus z result, it's going to be the same brick. And you can see that here. If x plus z is the same number, it's the same brick. So we got these stripy bricks. And that's not what we want to do. So what we need to do is we need to come up with some method of adding these things together that doesn't end up making them the same uh, if they add up to the same. And I think the easiest way to do that is just to multiply them by moderately large prime numbers. Now, as you can see, there's no hint of, of repetition. Uh, I mean, it's messy uh, because I'm using like 85 different seeds. Here we are. But there's no hint of that stripey uh, look. And that's because the stripey look was a result of, um, of, of those meshes all having the same x plus y value. But the chance of x times 7 plus z times 13 being exactly the same it's pretty low. Uh, it'll only happen uh, when you have certain uh, seven of multiplying primes will have allergies on 91. It'll only happen every 91 tiles or so, uh, and that's only you know worst case. 
So this is much, much better, much, much closer to random. And uh, the other thing I need to do is go over here into land brush. Uh, what I did is I changed it so that this, instead of being 8 plus uh, a certain amount, I made it <laughs> a huge value. Let's go ahead and set it back to 8. Something like, something like this. Ah, there we are. Now we were back to having terrain like we're used to. Actually, it looks kind of interesting already. Cool. All right, so I'm sorry that this episode was basically a bust. Um, oh, I can dig. Oh, I can't dig. Did I break the digging? Oh, no, I turned it off. Player I.O. is off. Uh, so I'm sorry that this episode is basically a bust. It's just housekeeping, and I wish um, we didn't have to do it, but I didn't plan far enough ahead uh, to avoid this situation, so I'm afraid that you'll have to play catch-up. Make sure you can set your bricks, your uh, chunks, to any size you'd like. Uh, maybe even play around with different chunk sizes. Uh, make sure that you can go vertical. Uh, fill up a chunk. Make sure it doesn't go above 65,000 vertexes. Uh, or if it does, it means you've done something wrong. Alright, sorry about the uh, boring episode, and I hope to see you next time.